All right, so what is going on guys? It is Audibro here, and today I'm bringing you guys another video on my channel, and this one will be completely different from all the videos I have released in the past, because this will be my one year natural fitness transformation that I have overgone since around last March. I'm super excited to bring this to you guys. I wanna keep the intro kind of short because the next video will sort of explain a little bit more and go into a little bit more of the details. But this one, I wanted to just show you guys what's possible natural in around a year, and then also share with you guys what's gonna happen in the future. So, so let's get started. I will start by showing you guys where I was a couple years ago. I was about 150 pounds, which is what I stayed for most of undergrad. And so we'll start there and then we'll keep going all the way until around a few days ago when I did some last update pictures. One, I'm obviously not C-bomb, I'm not massive. And number two is some of the videos or pictures are without a pump and some are with a pump. So you'll kind of see as we go along, I may look a little bit bigger in one picture and then smaller the next. I was taking some when I left the gym and then some just randomly throughout the day. Basically, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I hope you guys see what you can accomplish in uh, just about a year. I'll have all my socials linked down below. You guys can drop a follow, you know, give me a like on my most recent post. It'll probably be something pertaining to this video here. Um, and then stay tuned for what we have in store. So let's get right into the transformation. So one thing I forgot to mention that I'm just throwing in here quickly um, once I go through all the pictures over time, I will then at the end have a comparison of me um, from the very beginning to where I am now. So you guys can stay tuned for that. You'll see at the end I have, you know, side by side pictures that kind of go over everything and I have a couple comments to make about them or whatever. So I hope you guys enjoy. We're just going to hop right into it right now. All right. So I'm likely not going to talk over all the pictures. I will probably just um, throw a soundtrack on right now. It'll be lower when I'm talking and then we'll switch over and it'll be a little bit louder when I'm not talking. And I'll also probably leave some notes on the side that show the date or whatever um, about the pictures that we're going through. But this is one of the older pictures that I had in my phone. Um, this is probably pre-2018 if I had to guess, um, but I can't remember exactly when I grew my hair out. So it's either pre-2018 or it's right after some of the pictures we see in 2019. It's it's somewhere around there. I'm not entirely sure, but it, nothing changes much between the next like three or four pictures. But I played sports most of my life, so I always was somewhat athletic, but I never took lifting seriously by any means. Like we would go in the gym for like football and for um, lacrosse, and I would just pretty much goof around the entire time. And so this physique is the result of that screwing around and then also staying pretty active and, um, you know, not eating necessarily correctly in order to maintain a certain body fat. So we'll kind of go through the next few pictures here. All right, so this is my grad party in August 11th, 2018. As you can see, very little muscle definition. And now we'll kind of just skip forward a few pictures. Um, I'll leave the dates in the top right and you guys can kind of see where I'm at and uh, how little muscle and little weight I had on me. I'm still around 145 to 150 pounds in these pictures. Okay, so as we can see here, I'm now starting to put on a little bit of weight. This was November 8th, 2021. I don't believe I was working out very much here, but I was starting to eat more and starting to gain a little bit of weight. So I'm starting to put that weight on now. I'm probably 175 to 180 pounds here, something along those lines sounds about right. All right, so this one's March 5th, 2022. Um, I've now gained quite a significant amount of weight and this is kind of when I started to take the gym relatively seriously. This is right around the time where I downloaded the heavy app so I stopped tracking my workouts via Excel and I started to do it on that app. And I think pretty much ever since then I have continued to use that app. Uh, as you can see coming up pretty soon here there's going to be a gap from August until November where I took a very long break from the gym because I kind of I reached a point where I saw some progress, but then I got super fed up with the gym and I just started to like creep back into my old habits. So we'll see that coming up pretty soon here, but let's just skip through a couple more pictures and you can start seeing the very beginnings of me working out. Okay, so we finally started to put on some muscle here and you can start seeing some definition in my abs, my shoulders, my biceps, my tries, everything's starting to get a little bit bigger. I'm probably close to like 180, 185 pounds here, I wanna say something around there. 
um, and my rear lat spreads are very, very cringy to watch, so please ignore those, um, because that actually pained me to watch that. So those videos were like April 8th and April 27th of like 2022. Um, and since then I have gotten a lot better at my posing, um, but I was super excited to like see some muscle back then. So just please, just please bear with the quality of the poses and the real lat spread because that I thought was hilarious when I saw that. This is April 30th of 2022. So at this point I've probably been working out for like a couple months. Um, I, I did start before March, but it wasn't anything crazy. It was probably like a month or two of working out before March. And I decided, you know, I didn't want to be skinny anymore. So now I am finally lifting pretty decent weight. I was super, super pumped for this at the time. This was my first time, I believe, squatting 225 for six reps. Um, and as you can see, it's a little bit of struggle. My neck is definitely probably not in the greatest position. I'm just looking straight up in the sky, praying that I can get this weight up. Um, but that was the first time I ever really squatted very heavy. Obviously, you know, we had the safety bars up so that in case anything went wrong, we didn't uh, hurt ourselves. So I was very big in deadlifting in the beginning when I first started. I still do deadlift quite a bit, but it's been a little bit less than before. Um, and this was my first time deadlifting 275 for five. So like I said in the beginning, I was 150 pounds never working out in my life. And so I couldn't even, I couldn't deadlift 150 pounds at that point. And I definitely wasn't benching any more than about 90 pounds. And so to see this weight and this development after about four, four months, I want to say maybe, maybe like maybe three months, um, of trying to just introduce myself to the gym. I was pretty hyped about this. And uh, as you can see in between each rep, I used to fully reset because I couldn't get my form correctly um, when I would just pull right from the ground after my, uh, you know, after each rep. So I would reset and then I would go back in and pull again. And so this was 275 for five. And obviously this was in May 7th. So this is probably like, yeah, a few months after I started lifting, I started to really start and see some real progress. I just want to mention also in this video that I am doing uh, protein shakes every day and creatine every day to kind of this is that's how I sort of started my process of going to the gym. I went for like a month or two and then I fully started to do a bunch of supplements like I was doing protein shakes, creatine, I was taking turmeric for inflammation and then I was also taking like fish oil and I was super super religious about doing that like I wouldn't miss a single day. Um, and so I'm fully natural, but I still do the creatine, still the protein, but I have cut down on some of the supplements. But back then, you know, I started to watch a lot of YouTube videos and get into fitness. And those were some of the best things to take. So like I said, it was uh, creatine, protein powder, turmeric, um, fish oil, and I believe that was it. So in this one, as you can see, I'm starting to get a little bit of more progress in the back. I'm starting to actually see some muscle definition. A little bit of peak on the bicep you can see a little bit poking over on may 7th so it's not too long after the last couple videos um and i'm definitely starting to see some serious progress at least compared to where i was when i first started Okay, so the last video you saw was August 12th. This one now picks back up in November after I took that long hiatus from the gym and I decided I'm not gonna be a stupid ass boy and I'm gonna get my ass back in the gym and start working again. And so this is when we really start to see the progress kind of take off. So I obviously have a really good base now. Well, I would say a moderate base compared to where I started. But since this point, I have, um, you know, I've stayed consistent. And so this was November 8th, so I'll kind of let the videos run through. I'm still doing that really, really awful lat spread from the back. I don't know why I was doing that leading forward so much, but it's okay because we have since learned. Okay, so we're now seeing my first two leg updates. Um, this compared to where I was previously is like leaps and bounds crazier. Um, but the last video was like November 11th. This one's December 5th. So I took a little jump. And as you can see, my legs have started to really develop. 
Um, I was doing push-pull legs throughout this, so I was doing legs pretty much twice a week, every week, and this was since the November 8th when I really got back into the gym. Um, so my legs started to really develop and I was starting to get really happy about the progress that I was seeing. So leading up to like this year, this video and the next one, I'm, I probably weighed the most I ever weighed. I was probably like 212 pounds. That's where I peaked my most ever bulked, but that was not healthy at all. I was eating boxes of cookies at a time and I was kind of just eating whatever to try and gain as much weight as possible. Because like I said, my original motivating factor to get into the gym was that I didn't want to be skinny anymore. This is going to be around sort of the peak of my weight um, ever. And so right now I'm like 196 when I wake up and then like one like 199 200 when i go to bed maybe around there it's it's something around there but i'm i'm main gaining now i'm not trying to bulk not trying to cut i'm kind of just maintaining growing muscle and um you know going day to day so i will cut it back to just some music and we will move on a few more video clips So as I said before, I was super into deadlifting, uh, especially in the beginning. I still do it now, but not as much. Um, so as you can see, sorry the video clip's a little bit glitchy, but this is 350 for one. Unfortunately, Planet Fitness has a Smith machine, so you have to stand on plates in order to get the bar to swim out where it should be. But I was super proud of this. Um, this was that was something that was a kind of like a milestone for me for sure, um, and that just further you know pushed me to want to work harder and keep pushing myself in the gym. Uh, and then we got a little back shot here. My eventually we will see me doing a rear lat spread that's not completely horrible. At least I hope. Um, so just bear with that. My triceps have been a little bit ahead of my biceps in a lot of these clips. Um, it starts to even out a little bit more as we get closer to the end, I believe. But um, I know the lighting is not always the best in some of these clips either. But yeah, my triceps were definitely in the beginning, especially too more well defined than my biceps really were. Now I went on a little spree where someone said that sumo deadlifting was cheating. So I went to do some conventional deadlifting, 325 for five. It was pretty reasonable, pretty decent amount of weight. Yeah, this looks like it's right around February 11th, so it's probably technically a little bit, a few weeks under a year of fully working out nonstop. This was one of the video clips that kind of also motivated me because I could never do pull-ups like ever. I did like two, and so this, I could see my back, I could see a little bit of baby wings forming with my lats. My pull-up form is absolutely atrocious, but um, I've since learned how to do pull-ups a lot better where I'm not straining my shoulders. I was super excited about this clip when I first recorded it. Am I just a little secret? I didn't hear the sirens. I didn't wanna see the one inside us. And now I pay the price, yeah. Oh, I should have known. It hits me like a tidal wave. Every time you say my This is probably technically the one year mark, however I did take those three months off so it's really more like nine months of being relatively consistent, granted I have that break in between. But as you can see I'm starting to like really get bicep definition which is something that I was super proud of and this is why I'm doing all these flexing videos because I was obviously super skinny my whole life, made fun of it for being skinny, I was always the little guy, tall but little and um, so this was super motivating for me and it kind of gave me a self confidence boost because I always had really low kind of self esteem or whatever. So kind of going in the gym, you know, you know, working out two, three hours, mostly probably like one and a half to two hours, but we'll just say three because it sounds better. Um, but yeah, I'm starting to get some nice, you know, some nice chest development, some nice bicep development, some nice triceps, um, and my back is also looking pretty good. Now I don't do a lot of leg videos, but my legs were also growing at a pretty decent rate compared to the rest of my body. But I think the jumps were really seen in my biceps and stuff because before it was super small and now you can kind of start seeing some decent definition. 
Um, but yeah, I'm probably like around 200 pounds here, maybe like 185. No, I was definitely more, probably like 190 to 200 pounds in a lot of these videos. Like I said, I got to 212 at that really big bulk stage, and then I started to kind of lean out a little bit. And thank God I finally learned how to rear lat spread, as you saw in some of the other clips, because oh my gosh, that was so embarrassing. But uh, yeah, I'll let these run out. As you can see here, my shoulders and my biceps, you can see pretty definedly. And I'm assuming that I have a pump here. Obviously, a lot of these videos, you know I have a pump. Some of them I don't. I mentioned that in the beginning. Um, but I also do some flexing of muscles that I didn't even work out that day, just for the sake of progress. But uh, yeah, the biceps were definitely starting to show now, which was really, really great for me because that was something I really wanted to have a decent of. You know, I really wanted to have big buys. I think a lot of guys do. So that was kind of great, but yeah, I'll let the music take over again. Falling down deep into a lonely void, and I can't get out. Hope for something magical, cause no one else seems to even bother. Looks like I'm on my own facing this loneliness. It is hard to be found. Okay, so these clips you see I uh, fully shaved my entire body because I wanted to try and see what it would look like like on stage or whatever I don't really know what my plan was here um, But I left my armpit hair, but everything else was shaved my chest everything arms um, And the last clip you saw I was starting to get some some veins and uh, some decent muscle growth on my forearms So I was trying to show that off in the video and um, finally a half decent rear lat spread um, the lats are a lot bigger now obviously but uh, the you know the the form was there at least for the most part just the uh, the actual the lat was not technically there but um yeah we're starting to see a lot lot more definition this is probably um, right around the one year mark maybe a little bit before like the actual one year of staying super consistent mark I know I have the three month gap in between so I'm kind of taking that out and then 12 months total from with that point taken out um, would be like the one year so I'm a little bit over a year technically with this video but it's really not that much over and it's also in the beginning I wasn't necessarily doing the right stuff I didn't really know form and I didn't I was just kind of going um, so I'm also starting to get decent calves now as we're seeing in this clip um, and then my quads are also starting to see some serious serious growth um, compared to the beginning um, and that was on the cruise actually that I did a few months ago um, and my bicep was kind of just poking out through my shirt so I was like all right I definitely need to take a video of this doing a uh, doing some little giga chad face whatever you know the vibe you know the vibe okay now we're starting to see in this clip like my back is starting to really develop I'm still not spreading the muscles in the middle I don't exactly know what those are called if I'm being completely honest with you um but uh, yeah, and then my rear lat spread is a lot better and the, the, you know, the width of my back is starting to seriously come out in these clips. I believe this might be another one where I actually do spread those muscles in the middle out. I don't know if that's uh, part of the rear delt or if that's mid trap. I really have no idea. I probably sound like a dumbass for even saying that. And this was one of the pictures that actually kind of rose my self-confidence a lot. I'm seeing a lot of bicep definition and then my tricep is kind of making my arm look super full. This was one of the pictures where I like looked at myself and I kind of thought like, okay, you know, the hard work and the dedication and staying consistent with my diet, with my training, with my sleep, with everything has really started to pay off. Um, and so now here we see I hit a new PR is 380 for one. Um, I just actually I finished up all my sets of deadlifts I don't know if it was 360 for eight or whatever it was but then I was like you know what let's just try and send it so we did a 380 for one um, and then in one of the clips after this you'll see that I uh, I go for 400 and then I might have actually hit 410 now I don't know for sure I'll, I'll add a little asterisk if I did or not but um, yeah my lower back was it wasn't hurting afterwards, but it was a little bit sore. But uh, yeah, it went up pretty easy, so I knew like, okay, the 400 is gonna be perfectly fine, and that's also kind of a huge milestone for me, you know, being a little skinny guy, and then finally, you know, pulling 400, that's pretty sick. In this clip, we have, you know, really decent, really, really decent, well, this is all in my opinion as well, obviously, but really, really decent shoulders, biceps, tries, all coming out now. I, uh, you know, infamous front double bicep that I do in all these clips even when I had nothing to show off. Um, and then we have a little lat spread. I'm not sure if this was back in buys or what I did this day, but my lats are starting to come in here. My chest is looking pretty decent. Then here we're gonna do a little rear lat where I have, you know, I have pretty decent width, I would say, considering it's like just over a year since I worked out. Maybe it's right around a year. 
um, and then my traps are also starting to like really show. This is the clip right here where I actually pull 400. So like I said in the last video, I, I believe I did all my sets of like reps, like five, six reps, and then I come in and I just pull this 400 for one. It actually went up pretty easy, but the only thing is like, I could definitely tell that I'm not used to pulling that heavy of weight because my body was feeling crazy after that. And so now we are finally here in current time. Um, you know, I think I have pretty decent definition as you'll see in the last couple clips here. Actually, check this clip out in the next video that I post. I have um, a leg day and I have a push day already recorded that I'm going to edit and throw together and post up for you guys in two different uh, vlogs. We're doing 300 for five here. So I believe my max might be 310 for one or 320 for one or maybe a little bit more. I'll put an asterisk and I'll throw it in for you guys as well. But uh, I'm just going for reps here. So this is 300 for five. And like I said, after about a year of lifting, not being able to squat nearly anything, I am able to finally squat 300 pounds for reps. So that was something I am super, super proud of. Um, and then this is my infamous pose that I do all the time, sending pictures to my friends and family. But I thought that it was, you know, a pretty good depiction of kind of where I'm at with no pump. So I, my bicep has a pretty decent peak, especially compared to the beginning. You see shoulder definition. And so now, guys, here we are current day. This was the videos that I recorded for the uh, progress video. I am very proud of how far I've come. I've stayed consistent for a little over a year now, diet wise, sleep wise, training wise. Uh, honestly, training is the easiest part out of those three things. Um, but yeah, this is no pump, no nothing special with my diet, just, just straight recording natty for the progress video so you guys can kind of get a comparison of like where I was to where, to where I am now. Um, so yeah, you know, we got pretty decent ab work. We got, um, you know, my chest is looking decent. It's a little bit like with a pump, it looks a little bit bigger, obviously. I mean, every muscle does. That was a pretty silly statement to say. But uh, yeah, this is a little bit over a year after first started training. And this is kind of where we're at now. So it's definitely been a hell of a journey. I have no plans on stopping anytime soon. Um, but I really just wanted to get this video out and kind of start this new journey on the channel with this whole fitness vlogs and kind of, you know, the whole fitness influencing or whatever you want to call it. But really, I just hope to motivate people. Like, as you can see, my rear lat spread there, I'm looking super wide. It's a lot better than the beginning, especially like my form in the beginning was really terrible. But yeah, so this is the leg update. My quads are looking pretty nice. I don't know what that muscle is in the middle, but I've been trying to get that to come out a lot more um, because that just looks so sick. But um, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm not like bulked, but I'm not lean as well in these videos. I'm like sort of in this in-between stage where I did like a bulk for like two weeks and I was like tracking all my macros. And then I decided that I'm going to main gain like um, Coach Greg actually recommends. And just ignore the mess in the background. I know that uh, I probably should have cleaned that before I recorded this video, but I was like super excited to kind of get this out. So this video specifically was kind of like um, sort of like the men's classic poses, um, but as well as it was like some of the poses that I've done throughout all the other videos, I've sort of shied away from some of the poses I used to do when I was recording the progress videos. But, um, you know, some of them stay consistent, like the freaking the double biceps. And um, but yeah, so we'll go through these couple last clips. Um, and then I will pop up and show you guys the comparisons from like where I very first started into where I am now. And yeah, so we'll go through these three and then I will go ahead and swap over and I will show you guys the exact comparisons um, from some of the very first pictures you saw side by side with some of the newer ones. Okay, so here we have the first comparison. This is, I believe, my right arm flexing, but it's kind of reversed in the mirror. But uh, yeah, this is where I started a couple years ago, and then this is where I am now. Um, I didn't take a lot of pictures from a few years ago until when I really first started my fitness journey because I didn't know I was going to be doing this for one, and I pretty much stayed the same because I'm not going to gain muscle if I'm not working out. So as you can see on the left, I'll pop the date up over there. And then on the right, this is current day, I'll pop the exact date up of when I actually took the picture if you guys want. Quite a significant difference, I would say. My muscle is... Twice the size. I mean, shoot, my whole arm is twice the size of what it was before. Um, you could fit two of my little baby arms inside my new arm. And um, my forearm is a bit more wider. I have a way better six pack. My chest is not completely absent from existence. This is also a few years apart from before I started training at all until now where I am. And yeah, a lot different. My chest is a lot bigger. Whenever I do the bicep pose, my chest disappears. So this is a better picture of showing you the actual definition compared to where I was before. 
as well as obviously the tan is a bit better. And like I said, I have a face mask on and I have a bandaid on my chin. So we're going to just ignore that. This last picture here kind of shows you guys where my legs have come from and kind of the development of my legs and my lower torso. So in the top left picture and in the picture in the middle left sort of, you'll see my legs were literally sticks, like like legit popsicle sticks, like pieces of spaghetti. But the picture in the bottom left is sort of like in the middle of the top left and the right side. Um, as you can see, definitely some definition, but it's nothing like too crazy. Um, yeah, my legs are significantly bigger. Like I said, I've put on like 50 pounds since the pictures that we saw in the beginning and the pictures that are in the top left. I was like 140 there. I'm like 196 to 200 on the right. Yeah, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this kind of progress video that I had just created. You know, it's definitely been a long, hard journey. I was very, I mean, I wouldn't say I was depressed in the beginning, but I was super skinny. I had no self-confidence. And, you know, since then, the gym has kind of taught me a lot of different things, you know, just staying disciplined, you know, sticking to something. I'd start a lot of projects and I kind of leave them, you know, half-heartedly. Um, so this has definitely been something where I've stuck to it. I've really tried my best to, you know, mold my physique into something that I'm proud of. And I think we're definitely heading in the right direction. Like I said in the beginning, I'm not Arnold. I'm not Sebum. I'm not Sam Sulik. I'm, I'm Alex Odie and I am, uh, you know, I'm just trying my best and I hope to maybe motivate you guys to also try and do your best. Um, like everyone always says, you know, you want to compare yourself to yourself, not to other people. And so, you know, comparatively from where I was in the beginning to where I am now, like a little bit over a year working out, very consistent. Um, I am super, super, super motivated to continue and to make videos and to, you know, keep growing. Like it's definitely been eye opening, like what I could achieve naturally. I always thought like maybe I have crappy genetics because of how I looked, but once I really started to dedicate myself and once I started to stick to a routine and stick to a diet, I believe that um, my Gen X maybe aren't as bad as I had previously thought. So, you know, you never know where you're going to end up, you know, a year down the line, two years down the line, five years down the line. As long as you stay disciplined, you stick to something and you just find what works and you really go super hard and try and, you know, achieve goals, set goals, break them, set goals, break them, set goals, achieve them whatever you want to call it and just keep doing that. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for my different vlogs that I have coming out. Follow my socials down in the description below. And like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. This has been a long journey and I'm super proud of myself and I'm super excited to keep moving forward and we'll see where we get. So yeah, follow my socials, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, stay motivated and get in the gym, lift some weights. Have fun. See you guys later. Peace.